Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain you about our article basically which shows that how macroeconomic variables affect travel and leisure sector in Europe. So let's start with our introduction. I'm Mohamed Mudassir and the other authors are Professor Anna Borges, Professor Elvira and Professor Bruno. And we are from ISAG European Business School at Porto. I'm currently seeking a PhD position in finance. So let's talk about our study. What is the originality? In this study, we are the first of our kind who use qualitative analysis to measure how it affects the travel and leisure sector. So what we find out, like what are the factors? So basically the factors are interest rate, inflation, oil, gas prices and geopolitical risk index. And we find out that these factors are highly effective. So let's talk about it like for the first time we show how this factor can reduce travel leisure during conflict and highly impacting the TL industry for managers and policy makers. It's a head up to consider these factors when planning for resilience. For investors, historical trends says travel and leisure might take a hit during conflicts, but it could be a sweet deal for buying TL stocks at a discount. And our suggestion now, diversified tourism product focus on travel and leisure, align investments, in, uh, especially based on ESG, Collaborate with hospitality and transportation sector for a competitive edge and don't forget to keep an eye on geopolitical and macroeconomic threats for quick adjustments. So this is all our study which shows how these factors can be vulnerable for travel and leisure, especially in a conflict. So this is all from our side. Thank you for listening to us.